Hey Cougar fans, it's Alexis Shirelli with the Charleston Sports Network. Thanks for tuning in to this week's edition of the Cougar Weekly Roundup, where we had a chance to catch up with baseball, sailing, and track and field. Baseball's been on the road this week up in Virginia, taking on Virginia Tech in the first half of the week, and Radford heading into this weekend. Here's Coach Monty Lee with his thoughts on this week's competition on the road. You know, we're excited about getting on the road and doing something a little different. You know, we've never uh, actually traveled during spring break. We've always had teams play us here, but uh, with the value of playing on the road for RPI, you know, we felt like, uh, you know, getting on the road and playing some teams on the road uh, was something that would be beneficial to our program. Uh, so we're playing Virginia Tech, an ACC opponent, uh, playing those guys uh, on Wednesday. We actually will not play them tomorrow due to the weather forecast there. And then we're going to go over and play uh, Radford University on the weekend at their place. They came here in 2013 in an open weekend in Southern Conference play. Uh, and uh, the agreement was was that I would make a return trip there if they came here. So, so we're going to go play Joe Recuglia's club, who's a very competitive club. Um, I think he had the best year they had ever had last year, and they return a lot of players. So we're going to have a competitive uh, weekend series with those guys. So uh, it's going to be a tough week, you know, getting on a bus and traveling six hours, playing an ACC opponent at their place on Wednesday. And uh, I'm sure the weather's going to be fairly cold uh, Wednesday for Wednesday's game and for the weekend. So, uh, you know, we're going to have to be mentally tough. We're going to have to be physically tough, and we're going to have to be consistent uh, if we plan on going up there and, uh, and winning that series this weekend and winning on Wednesday. We wish the team the best of luck with their competition in Virginia, and we look forward to having the team back home next weekend. Sailing looks to compete at North Point's number two this upcoming weekend in Clemson, South Carolina. The team will also be competing here at home Saturday and Sunday at the Bob Baver team race. Here's Coach Cromwell ahead of this competitive weekend. Yeah, it was a really nice weekend here in Charleston. A little cold, a little wet, but we got some really good sailing in. We had one team that didn't show up at the, or, or couldn't make it at the last minute, so we got to sail um, two women's teams. So we had four boats on the water, and so that was really good to kind of see the depth of our team and be able to work with all of those girls. And uh, so it was, a, it was a productive weekend. So this week we're here training. We have about 30 athletes still in town, and we'll be – hitting the water tomorrow morning um, and we're gonna we're gonna sail all week we have University of Vermont is here training and um, hopefully we'll have some good weather and then we host the Bob Bevere team race which will be the first major team race for us anyway of the uh, of the spring season here at home next weekend so that'll be a lot of fun don't forget to come out and support your Cougars this Saturday and Sunday at the J Stewart Walker sailing complex the action starts at 10 a.m. Track and field look to open up their outdoor season this upcoming Friday as they host their only home meet, the Palmetto Classic. Here's Coach Sego on how her team has been preparing for this season ahead. It's always nice to be home. The unfortunate thing is the weather usually does not hold out very well for us here. Uh, we've had a history of some rainy, cold days, and it looks like the forecast is going to be rain again this time around. But, um, yeah, it, it'll be a nice meet for us. There's a lot of teams coming down for their spring breaks. So um, looks like the Division I teams right now would be us, the Citadel, UNC Wilmington. Um, there's a chance Benedict might bring their squad over. And then um, we have Coker College, uh, Francis Marion, we have Shawnee um, State. We've got a team out of West Virginia, West Virginia Wesleyan, a um, handful of others. So it, actually USC Buford usually is at our meet as well. So um, good, good squads coming up, give us good competition and nice way to just open up the outdoor season. It'll be nice to be outside. And um, even if the weather's bad, good to not have, you know, inside surrounded by four walls. So. Don't forget to come out and support your track and field team this Friday as they host their home meet out at Park West. Thanks for tuning in to part one of this week's Cougar Weekly Roundup, and part two is coming up next, so stay tuned. I'm Alexa Shirelli. <laughs>